What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is the Oracle card reading for the sign of Virgo. This could resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Um, this is Oracle card reading for sign of Virgo. Like I said, this could resonate if you have any aspects of Virgo in any of your charts. But it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, I got a couple channel messages in as I was channeling on uh, in on your energy for um, the month of April of 2022. Um, so I'm going to share those in a second. But I want to say we have 10 days left in the month of March. So even though this reading is for April of 2022, um, everybody's on different time of life paths. Even though this is Virgo's reading, there's millions and billions of people in the world and tons of Virgos. So for some of you guys, if the message or messages do resonate, for some, they could start resonating in March, possibly, because there's 10 days left still in March. For some, April, for some, later than that. Um, because only you know your story, not anybody else, and everybody's on different time of life paths. So um, you have to plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates for you, um, if it resonates for you, okay? I hope everybody is doing well. I really, really do. I heard half and half just now on the balance. Half and half on the balance. So it came out reversed. Balance reversed. So half and half. So I'm assuming, I guess we'll get to it when we do the channel. So I'm assuming half is up, half is down. But I'll channel in and see what we get. I heard half and half. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. Oh my. Okay, now, I hope you guys don't start off like Capricorns. If anybody watched Capricorns, Caps reading, maybe you have Caps in your chart or you cross-watch. But somebody, either someone was overly emotional about a Capricorn or they're dealing with somebody with addictions or something of that nature because when I was doing the tea leaves for Caps, they kept flying out everywhere. And that could signify someone being overly emotional about a situation or addictions in some aspect so maybe one of you guys is overly emotional about a situation spirit message chest for sign of Virgo or someone's overly emotional about you or a situation or maybe one of you guys is dealing with someone with some type of addictions or you are dealing with some type of addictions in some shape form some shape I can't speak some shape form or fashion um however that resonates in your life spirit messages you have for sign of Virgo Now, addictions can be anything toxic to oneself, by the way. Um, if you are dealing with addictions or dealing with someone someone with addictions, it could be gambling, it could be prostitution, uh, like sex addictions, it can be um, drug addictions, alcoholism, anything toxic to oneself, um, however that resonates. Spirit messages, okay. Okay, that's too many. Not crazy like caps reading, but we're okay. You got love popped out, and then um, the other piles. So, oh no, there's two. There's two. Whoa, there's two. Okay, hold on. Love and May. Okay. Number 39 or 44 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 39 or 44, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible um, jersey, um, yeah, I said jersey number. 39 or 44. Uh, also, for some of you guys, you could be de dealing with an air sign or a fire sign because moth spirit is air sign energy. Panther spirit is fire sign energy. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hamon, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in, however that resonates, if it resonates for you, Virgo. 
Also, we have uh, Awakening, Upright, Balance, Reverse, but I heard half and half on that, so I feel some of you guys may be un imbalanced, and some of you might be balanced, but we'll figure that out in a minute. And then Love in May. Moth Spirit, Surrender Now. A particular Virgo has really been hiding their true romantic feelings in. For some, for some, they have very much made known clear who they truly love. Through many shocking series of shame events, you might reconnect with this person soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. My goodness. Um, whoever this is for, I feel you could be masculine or feminine. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever you are. But, um, oh, I didn't do the channel at the beginning. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. But um, whoever this is for, um, it doesn't sound like you're with the person you truly love. I'll tell you that. Uh, whether you're single, legally single, like on the tax return, legally single, or you are in a committed relationship, or you are in an open relationship, I don't feel you're with the person you truly love, um, per the channel messages. Um, and I'm serious about that, um, whoever you are. Um, but I heard uh, through many shocking series of chain events, you might come into reconnection with them in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, however you come into reconnection with them, that could be through text, messenger, email, stale mail, or in person. But somehow, through some kind of shocking series of chain of events, it sounds like you might come into reconnection with them in some shape, form, or fashion, whether you initiate it or they initiate it. However, that resonates in your life. But um, for some, you have been holding in the fact of who you truly love. For some, you have made it very publicly known who you truly, truly love. And it's not the person you're with if you are with somebody. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so for surrender now, I think it's surrendering to the fact of your true emotions here, your true feelings, your true emotions, who you truly want here. Um, and this is in the love department. I mean, we don't get out a whole lot of lovey-dovey messages. We do from time to time, but not very often. But we are in here today. Um, there's one, at least two of you guys, at least two in the universe that's not with somebody you truly love. One of you guys, it, it feels like in the closet energy, in the, in the terms of who you love. You know who you love inside yourself, but you haven't let it out of the closet, if that makes sense. For one, for one, you have let it out of the closet. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, just saying, I mean, you have let it out. You have let the cat out of the bag, um, but you're not with that person. So however that resonates. So I think this is surrender now to your feelings here, um, Virgo. If this resonates for you, whoever you are and however it applies, only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay, so the channel messages I received at the beginning, I've got to spurt back a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, at the beginning, I heard a... Um, Meth lab is about to explode soon. Um, and a secret meth lab is about to be exposed soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, how a lot of meth lab energy. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Hopefully one of you guys aren't the meth lab owners or you aren't the person or people making the meth. I mean, hell, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else, but... There's some serious meth lab energy in the universe right now. And I am being serious. Um, and I did hear a location on the, on for at least one of these meth labs. Uh, one is about to explode soon. So I'm feeling it's like volcano energy in the Earth Magic deck. I'm feeling like volcano and wake-up call energy is what I'm feeling here. Um, let me show you the volcano card. For those of you that are not familiar. I'll go through it, I guess. Um, and one, a secret meth lab is about to be exposed. 
So um, one's about to explode and one is about to be exposed. Meth lab energy. One is secret and one is about to freaking explode. So in two meth labs in the United, um, not in the United States, in the universe, um, I did hear a location of one. One, I heard Sand Mountain now. Um, now, I live in Alabama. For Y'all know, I live in Alabama. Now, there is a place in Alabama called Sand Mountain. Now, I'm not saying it's in Alabama. There might be other locations in the universe called Sand Mountain, for all we know. It might not be in Alabama, but that's what I heard, Sand Mountain. So maybe whoever this is, at least whether it's the secret meth lab or the one that's about to explode, I feel it's somewhere in Sand Mountain, whether it's Sand Mountain in the vicinity and location in Alabama or another vicinity and location outside of Alabama. But I specifically heard Sand Mountain. So maybe you know somebody that resides in Sand Mountain that has a secret meth lab or meth lab, meth lab that's about to blow up. Whatever meth, la meth lab this is, it hasn't blew up yet, I'll tell you that. But it's about to. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, this is how I feel if you go in the Earth Magic deck. For the one that's about to blow up. Boom! Physical explosion. Well, hold on. We gotta do it right. Breach. Well, hold on. No. Eh. Skirt. Okay. The one that's about to blow up, this is how I feel it's gonna go. Boom, a physical explosion. I mean, they're not going to expect it to blow up. Boom! Physical explosion. Boom, baby, boom. Wake up call. Oh, shit, the meth lab blew up. Oh, what the fuck do I do? Ah! Bro, bro. That's for the one that's about to blow up, whether it's in Sand Mountain or somewhere else in the universe. For the secret meth lab, Ring, 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 ring. Maybe to the feds or to the marshals or to police. There's a secret meth lab at blah, 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 blah. Breach energy. Breaker 1 1. Blah, 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 blah. Meth lab located at blah, 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 blah. That's how I feel it can go. Breach. Somebody's about to. To spill the beans on where this secret meth lab is, whether it's in Sand Mountain or somewhere else. Somebody's about to get a huge ass wake up call, and I also feel police energy here. Woo, 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 woo. Freeze. Just saying, just saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. A lot of meth lab energy, man. I should have done that at the beginning, but I forgot. So I apologize. Um, for some of you guys. You might be the ones that's about to bust this mess lab, meth lab. Um, you have only you know your story, not anybody else. So I feel you could be on the positive end of this, about to help break bust open the damn meth lab for the secret one. Or um, maybe you're the damn fire department that goes and cleans up this hot mess express, and then the police that gets involved, and the fire investigators, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, yeah, so we're back. I'm sorry. Wow. So, yeah, so we went over this one. Panther Spirit reclaimed her power. A particular Virgo is going to give a location on a meth lab soon. Really about to become in their power. What is going on up in this world? One of you guys knows where a damn meth lab is. Maybe it's toxic family that owns it or toxic friends or frenemies or somebody from your past. But one of you guys knows the location on a damn meth lab. And I'm serious. I heard you're about to get the location. Up. So you're about to use your personal power, reclaim your power, man. And you're about to give him important information on the location. Oh my God. One of you guys is about to help bust the secret meth lab. Whether it's in Sand Mountain or not. 
You're about to help bust the damn secret meth lab. Holy shit moly. I am so serious about that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy shit. I would love to know. I would love to know. Of course, you know, we all know the rules on here. You don't have to tell me. But oh my God, that's so cool. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with fire sign. Or maybe a fire sign has this secret meth lab. Um, possibly. Um, I'm serious. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. I feel for some, um, whether it's a fire sign or not, that um, has this secret meth lab, I think they have blackmailed you. And I didn't hear they did. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. I'm so serious. Oh, my God. But you're about to reclaim your power. You're about to get the location. You are about to bust this shit open. I feel news energy here. I am so serious. Oh, my God. That's for the secret one. Now, there's one about to blow up, too. Oh, my God. Let me see if I hear anything else. Wow, this is so juicy. At 3.15 a.m. on 3.21.22. So, you're about to give up the secret location on this meth lab. Um, whoever you're going to give it up to. I'm feeling Fed energy, Marshall energy, local police energy. Um, hopefully it's on the, you know, law enforcement side and not to gangs or cultists or something, you know, hopefully you can create positive change in the universe and actually bust it up through legally is what I'm saying. Um, hopefully, but only, you know, the decisions you're going to make, not anybody else. Wow, Virgo. Oh my God. I'm so happy and proud for you. No one particular Cancer and one particular Libra is going to be very, very, very pissed when you do this. One already knows this and they don't care. Okay, I heard no one particular Cancer and one particular Libra is going to be very, very pissed when you do this. Um, there's at least two of you guys about to give information on the secret meth lab, whoever you are and however you plug in. Uh, I heard one of you guys, you already know they're going to be pissed. You don't care. Um, and I'm assuming for one of you guys, you, um, you're not foreseeing the fact they're going to be pissed at you. So, um, however that plugs in, uh, but you're about to reclaim your power regardless. So whether you know they're going to, this Libra or Cancer is going to be pissed at you or not, however that resonates. It can be a masculine or feminine Libra or Cancer. They could have Libra or Cancer in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Ben, Hamid, or Jupiter charts. However that resonates. Wow, man. Awakening. Police siren soon. Some you are the police. Oh my lord. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a good god, man. Oh man. This is getting so good. I heard police siren soon. For some you are the police. So awakening in this situation is somebody's about to get a, a wake up call. Because of the police. This is a physical wake-up call. This isn't like a spiritual awakening in this aspect. If this can be spiritual awakening or a physical wake-up wake call awakening. It is a physical wake-up call awakening. for, And I don't feel it's you. I feel it is somebody you're connected to. Possibly this Libra, this Cancer, or this fire sign. Um, for some, it is fire signs that do have this meth lab. For some of his fire signs that do have this meth lab. Oh my God, that's just confirmed in the reading. That is confirmation in the reading. For some, it is fire signs that do have this meth lab. So for some of you guys, it is a is fire sign or fire signs that have this meth lab. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, they have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midheaven, Jupiter charts. They have a secret meth lab. Um, wow. You know about it. You. Ooh. I think some you're going to call the police. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, man. Uh, I'm serious. Put me in the witness protection program. Protect my ass or some shit. But um, get me away from these crazy folks. I'm serious. But this it's actually wake-up call. Actual wake-up call energy here. It's not spiritual awakening energy. Um, for some, you are the police. So for some, you're going to actually get be the wake-up call energy to somebody. 
You are going to be the wake up call to somebody, Virgo police woman or police man. For some, you are, um, you are going, to, I think you're going to create the wake up call for somebody by calling the police. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man, you're, you're badass. Whoever you are, you're about to reclaim your power, man. Holy shit of only. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. This is so cool. I, I would, oh my God. If it makes the news, would you please email me or message me or something? I would love to know. Of course, you know the rules and you don't have to, but I would love it if you did. Somebody's about to be a game changer up in this bench involving a meth lab. Holy shit. Let me see if I hear anything else. And that's the secret meth lab, by the way. That's the secret one. And for at least one of these secret meth labs, a fire sign or fire signs is operating this bitch. But a Libra and a Cancer knows about it. And obviously, I'm assuming they're making tons of freaking bank off of it. Because let me tell you, I've never been around meth. I don't ever want to be around meth. But logical sensing, sense sensing, that's not a word. Logical sense and reasoning would tell one. I've worked in the healthcare field a long ass time and let me tell you there's people that have popped positive on methamphetamine that i would have never expected would in a drug screen and i'm just being for real, for real so it's way more prominent than people want to believe it is is what i'm trying to tell you okay oh my god this is so awesome balance reverse i heard half and half on this A particular Virgo has really verbalized their feelings, romantical feelings, for Fire Sign Feminine. It has really, really pissed off a particular Taurus in a huge way. This Virgo knows this, but they don't care. They have had the memories with this person. They know this person, not this Taurus. Wow. Okay. My God. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel like titling this feelings meth labs. Oh my in here. I mean, my Lord, this is something. I mean, wow. <laughs> God. I mean, but in a good way, it's in a good way so far, so far. Um, <laughs> But how if this resonates with you are connected to a foreign energy in some shape, form, or fashion? Now, whoever this Taurus is to you, um, whoever it is, it can be a boss, it can be a family member, it can be a neighbor, it can be a friend, hopefully not running a meth lab. Um, it can be um, anybody, any freaking body, man, anybody, whoever it is, okay? Um, but you have had memories with the fire sign feminine past you. You have, I mean, you've got a lot of fire sign energy in here and it's coming out in the clear audience messages. Um, and that could be reclaiming your power too. You have verbally made it known to this Taurus. Whoever this Taurus is, it could be masculine or fin Taurus, but it sounds like the Taurus has, thinks they have feelings for this fire sign film or they want to be with this fire sign film or they wanted to be with fire sign film in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. How are that plugs in your life? But it sounds like you, it sounds like they don't really personally know the fire sign. Fem. It sounds like you do, Virgo. It sounds like you do. So either you've dated this fire sign fem in the past, or you were married to the fire sign fem in the past, or you personally know the fire sign fem in it currently or in the past, but the Taurus doesn't. So you have verbally displayed your feelings very verbally to this Taurus about feelings of love here to this Taurus about this fire sign film, but it's pissed this Taurus off in a huge way because I feel they have either wanted to be with this fire sign film in the past or they want to be with them now. However, that resonates in your life, um, Virgo. Um, but you verbalizing, publicly verbalizing your feelings to the Taurus has pissed the Taurus off and left some kind of imbalance between your relationship of you and the Taurus in some shape, form or fashion. But I heard basically you don't care. You don't care at this point. It sounds like you have 
aired it out to them. They know how you feel. You don't care that they know. Maybe in the past you cared they knew is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's exactly what I feel. It's an Aries Leo Sagittarius feminine. They could have Aries Leo or Sag in their semi-rising Venus or feminine hand for Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. So it's created some kind of imbalance between you and this Taurus energy, whoever this Taurus is and how are they applied in your life. You plug it in, how it resonates, Taurus. But that creates awakening in the Taurus because they know how you where you stand on that, that particular topic. Um, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing that they know where you stand. So um, it creates healthy boundaries there. Um, they know how you feel. So, I mean, I don't see how there's anything wrong with that. Um, it sounds like this Taurus wanted to be with this fire sign fib either now or in the past. Um, and they didn't get what they wanted in some shape or fashion. So you, I mean, but you have the memories with this person. You do either currently now or in the past. It doesn't sound like they did. So I don't know, man. You plug it in, how it resonates. So we're going to do the upright, balance upright. A neighbor is about to make a huge pass at you. A huge pass. You're about to turn them down. Stripping their clothes off right then and there. Oh, snap. What kind of hell, what kind of neighbors do you have, Bergs? My dear God Almighty. <laughs> Whoa. If <clears throat> I just want to say, I don't judge anybody. I don't. But if one of my, if I went outside and I live in a city, for anybody doesn't know, I live in a city, man. My neighbors are right freaking here. We are no getting around these these people. I'm just saying, literally, we are right here, all butted up next to each other. If one of my neighbors came over or was in their their lot, property line on their yard and they just took just stripped butt naked down right in front of in front of me either in the home or outside, I wouldn't know what that, I mean, that would not turn me on. That would turn me to the, the phone to call the police. <laughs> I'm serious about that. What the hell? <laughs> Where do you live, Virgo? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. One of these Virgos lives in a holla. Holla. They are about to make huge moves to move out of there soon. There's a huge cult in this holla. Holla, holla, what is a holla? So you plug it in how it resonates. What the hell is a holla? Hold on, y'all. A holla. A holla? Does anybody know what a holla means? I don't have the comments turned on. I'm about to look this up, man. A holla. That sounds country. Holla. I didn't hear hollow. I heard hollow. Hold on. But I heard there's a cult in this hollow. There's a cult in there. Um, and you, whoever you are, maybe it's the neighbor that, maybe the neighbor that stripped in front of you, butt ass naked down. Maybe they're in the cult. A holler is a sheltered valley between mountains. That's what it says. A holler is a sheltered, uh, holla is a sheltered valley between mountains. 
down the holler. Holler or hollow is a generally located in eastern Kentucky where there are many hills. Okay, so however that resonates. It is hilly that often you can't see far in any direction. Roads can only be two lane and houses are along roads because you can't build back into a neighborhood. So it sounds like a very hilly, mountainous type um, um, landscape. Um, whoever that particular Virgo is, uh, you live in a holler, a holla, um, maybe in Kentucky, maybe in some other state or area. Um, however that resonates, but there's some kind of cult in your holla or holler. You know this, you're about to save up to move out is what it sounds like. Um, and for one of you guys, I feel your neighbor lives in the holler with you, but they're probably in the cult. And maybe they're trying to draw you in with sex magic by just taking it all off. Um, come hither to me with my naked body. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates, and that could be the awakening too. You're getting a wake-up call that you're living in a, um, a cult, a cultist-type neighborhood, a cultist-type area. And I, I mean, I'm serious. Um, whoever you are, I... It might be Kentucky. I'm sure there's way more hollers and hollows than just Kentucky. And I'm serious. I'm sure there are. So you plug it in how it resonates. And that, whoever that particular message is, you're about to reclaim your power. You're about to save up and move the hell out of what that, that crazy place. I would too. Holy crap, man. Bal and that's going to create balance for you by uh, saving your money up, being smart, and moving the hell away, man. Uh, making some moves in silence absolutely oh my gosh and that's the surrendering now by realizing that you need to freaking move the hell away oh whoa for some you might live in sand mountain because i heard sand mountain very significant in in the meth lab messages so maybe for some the holler or the holler however you say it is a is a meth labby type area in sand mountain possibly for some but you plug it in how it resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Love. Love is in the air. A masculine Virgo really knows this. He can feel it. He has always felt it. Whoa, my God, Virgo. I have got a Virgo dude just, ex his heart chakra is just exploding, man. Whoa, you plug it in, how it resonates. Virgs, you can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Wow, Virgo. Um, and maybe that's going to create awakening. For some, you already know you're in love. I mean, we've had love messages all up in here. We're 33 minutes in. We've had love messages all up in here from the beginning. Some, you know who you are in love with. And I feel for some, it's your twin. I feel for some, you know it's your twin. For some, you might not know what the hell a twin is. If you don't know what it is, Google twin flame. But however that resonates, you, some, you know who you love. You're not with them. Um, I feel whoever that particular message is, um, that the channel that I just got, you... Love is in the air. Love is in the air. It's a masculine Virgo. Uh, love is in the air. You can feel it. You can feel the love. So, um, but I don't feel you're with this person. I feel for some, this is like telepathic communication or you want it to be telepathic communication. I feel it's a distance energy is what I'm trying to say. It's a distance energy here. I don't feel it's waking up next to your person. I don't feel it's making love for two hours um, at, you know, from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., um, that kind of energy. I feel it's longing and missing someone from a distance is what I'm trying to say. So um, love, um, like energetic love waves. I don't think that's a word, but I think I just made it one. Energetic love waves, heart space waves. Um, Projecting your 
emotions out into the universe um, telepathically there, Virgo. Oh my gosh, man, this is such a reading. Um, wow. For, yeah. And maybe for some, you miss this person so badly that it gives you balance because it helps you, I think, cope in the everyday 3D world. I think it helps you get through the day for some, whether you're masculine or feminine. I think it helps you. Somebody is in love with somebody they're not with. Whether you're legally single or you're in a relationship or you're in a marriage, you're in love with somebody you're not with. And I'm whether you're masculine or feminine, and I'm serious about that. But I help I think it helps you get through the day and cope with everyday world type things, is what I'm trying to say. Um that's exactly what I think. Um, uh, down and dirty, and I'm serious. You plug it in how it resonates. May. A particular Leo is about to have huge positive changes happen in their life soon. A Virgo masculine is about to be very, very happy for them. Very happy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Virgo, masculine, you're coming in strong. So a particular Leo femme is about to have huge positive changes happen in their life. So whatever huge positive changes that is in this Leo Fem's life, you have got fire sign energy so strong. Some fire signs got a damn secret meth lab you're about to help bust for one of you guys. For um, some of you guys, um, there's a Leo Fem coming in strong, heavy for you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, there's a Leo Fem that's about to have lots of positive things happen for them in their life suit. Whoever this Leo feminine is and how they plug in their life, in your life, Virgs. Um, it can be anybody to you. You only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard you're going to be very happy for them. One Virgo masculine is going to say it very, very openly to this Leo feminine. They will be so happy for them. Okay, I heard one Virgo masculine is going to say it very openly and very publicly, publicly to this Leo feminine. They're going to be so happy for them. So, um, well, congrats to you, uh, Virgo. Did, why not? Well. No, you're going to be giving congrats. You're going to be giving congrats to a Leo fan. So, well, that's awesome, Virgo, dude, whoever you are. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, and that could be love, like platonic love. That could be platonic love. This doesn't have to be, ooh, baby, I want to set you up, energy. It don't have to be that. It could be platonic love, man. I'm just saying, you know, you plug it in, how it resonates. Only you know you're showing not anybody else, man. There's about to be a particular wedding in May. And a Virgo is about to find out about a minor pregnancy. Okay, I heard there's about to be a particular wedding in May for at least one of you Virgos. And one of you, go, one of you Virgos is about to find out about a minor pregnancy. So a minor pregnancy. A minor is anybody that's 17 or below for anybody who doesn't know that. So I don't feel it's you. That is the minor that is pregnant because nobody should be viewing my videos if you're under the age of 18, just saying. Um, and somebody you're connected to that is below the age of 18, is they're pregnant in some shape, form, or fashion. You're about to find this out soon. Um, and for some, uh, a wedding um, a wedding in May is significant for at least one of you guys. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. All right. Cooperstown, Charlotte, North Carolina, edible underwear. Oh my, what the hell? <laughs> well, I can't say that. I participated in edible underwear before, so I, I can't be talking. Just saying. Um, so Cooperstown, um, Charlotte, North Carolina, and some edible underwear. It's been a while for the edible underwear, but you know, that can spice things up. I'm just saying. Uh, and that might be from some of you guys, you're about to pump it up in the bedroom, man. I with some edible a fucking underwear. And yes, I said fucking. That deserves fucking. Edible fucking underwear, man. 
Uh, that that's spicy. That's awesome. Um, and maybe that's going to create some balance in somebody's love life and an awakening when there's some super spicy erotic behavior in the bedroom. Oh man, I like that. Um, maybe that creates the pregnancy. I don't know. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. But some kind of edible underwear energy. And Cooperstown is significant to at least one of you guys. I think Cooperstown is in Pennsylvania. I think. Um, but you plug it in, however that resonates, if it resonates in your life. All I heard was Cooper's Hell and then Charlotte, North Carolina. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if it resonates for you, birds. Uh, maybe you're going to vacation there. Maybe you live there. Maybe you have somebody that, uh, that maybe you're connected to someone that lives in Cooperstown or Charlotte, North Carolina. Maybe someone from Cooperstown or Charlotte, North Carolina is going to send you edible underwear. Because uh, I heard edible underwear in there, too. Um. But I think somebody's about to have some loving going on with some edible underwear. And I'm serious. What? Man, Virgo. Just saying. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody, everybody went wonderful choices and I'm sad.